Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to MC Lodge from the week. Uh, pretty quiet week on the racetrack last week. Uh, poor old four days of my life. He, uh, I don't think he's even seen daylight yet, the poor bugger. He uh, certainly went well. We tried riding him a little bit differently, riding him back, and uh, geez, it looks like that's the way to go. He, uh, the uh, form will actually read that he's run second last or third last, but um, geez, he went super, and uh, yeah, poor bugger, he's still on the bit. But um, yeah, I'll run him somewhere next week, so make sure you follow him, because he, uh, we're going to ride him quiet and watch him zip home, and uh, could be big odds next start, and certainly worthwhile watching. Um, runners this week, um, a Ralka, we had a Ralka in at uh, Pakenham on Thursday, and he got balloted, so I'll probably accept with him again on uh, Monday at Warnable, and maybe packing them Tuesday as well or something like that but um, unfortunately he's only had the one start and finished unplaced and uh, yeah he's been balloted so that's a bit of a trick but um, anyway that happens. Um, probably take Northern Seoul down to Warnable Monday, he's won down there so um, you know same track um, is probably his go and um, see how he goes there but um, certainly he's worked good. Get him over a mile and uh, that could be his go and uh, ride him quiet and uh, let him get home so he's going good. Little Tijano's tail, he had a little hiccup, a little boil and he's with her and um, he uh, seems to be over that now, so he'll go back to the races. I'll accept with him probably at Packenham on Tuesday. He's had a fair bit of time between runs. I wanted to go straight to a mile with him, but probably going to be forced to give him a seven furlong run before we get up too much in distance. And um, Spherical, who's been sort of knocking on the door for ages, had no luck. I'm going to try him in a high weight race. Um, it's a 2,400 metre high weight at Mowie on Saturday and um, geez it's only going to be a bunch of uh, bunch of potential hurdlers which <laughs> probably maybe where he's at it but um, uh, it looks like a nice sort of race for him and uh, 2400 metres should suit probably at a rain affected track that should suit um, being a high weight they tend to the tempo seems to be slower so it probably gives him a chance to be further forward in the race so um, uh, and we're almost cheating having Jamie Mott on board in the high weight race so uh, he would be uh, certainly a horse to follow this week. Yeah, a couple of horses uh, trials through the week, probably a couple worth mentioning, are two fillies that have uh, been to the paddock and come back in and sort of ready to go for the spring if they're good enough. Um, a little filly called Yolande, um, she ran a couple of really good races last um, in the autumn, had a good spell. I um, don't think she's grown a lot, but she certainly strengthened up a little bit. Um, but she had a nice um, soft sort of trial and um, don't know whether we need to trial her again. I might, I'll see how she works through the week, but um, I might give her one more trial then run her first up somewhere. Um, but uh, she's here ready for the spring and the better races for the three-year-old fillies and um, if she's good enough, she's good enough, I suppose. Uh, another filly called Gigi Girl. Um, I really rate her, but um, just kept getting into trouble last time and uh, quite a temperamental filly and had a few issues. So um, she had a nice soft trial. Got her fairly held up in the trial and only saw daylight late, but I thought she got to the line pretty good. Um, she's, uh, I, being a sort of highly strung temperamental filly, I won't be over trialling her, so she'll probably go straight to the races sometime next week. Our horse of the week this week is a um, filly called Yolande. She, um, she uh, showed us plenty as a late two-year-old. We actually um, took her up to Sydney and uh, ran her in the Fernhill Handicap where she, um, she didn't fire, she didn't travel out well and um, didn't fire, but um, we brought her home, gave her a good spell and she'd come back for the spring. But uh, she only just got beat narrowly in the uh, Mornington size and uh, she actually ran in the VRC size produce and uh, just had no luck in the run and wasn't beaten all that far. And um, Craig Williams rode her and um, he uh, certainly said she probably, could, with any sort of luck, she should have run a place. So we put her away, brought her back in for the uh, uh, for the spring and um, she's all ready to go. She uh, trialled up good yesterday and uh, and uh, we'll just make a decision whether we need to trial her again or whether she can go straight to the races but uh, she's certainly set for the better three-year-old races in the spring and um, see how she goes but um, certainly there's not much of her. She's only a little pony but she's a very good eating, healthy, sound little horse and um, uh, she's an absolute little ripper. Very much a favourite in the stable. Everyone around the stable absolutely loves her so that's a little filly called Yolande. Hi everyone, coming off two scratchings in a second, that's not bad. Anyway, straight to Mooney Valley this week, race two, number nine, strong hand. And then race four, number five, for duress. And my value bet, I'm going for first starter from the Hawk Stable, Boston Light, race six, number 12. Now, if there is any scratchings, let's go to Ranwick, race three, number seven, Wonderbolt. So good luck, good punning, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, that's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, uh, the Geelong Horse of the Year. The, the awards um, night for Geelong is on September 10. Um, so uh, contact the club if anyone wants to come. Um, fantastic night as it always is. Everyone from the local racing area all gets together. And uh, we've got Johnny Tapp as our guest speaker this year, which is uh, fantastic. He'll be, uh, he'll be amazing to listen to. Of, um, the reports on, um, on Johnny are fantastic. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have, have a good night. Uh, 
probably take a few horses to Cranbourne Friday and trial them. The, um, the old mate, um, Severn Road, is going to have a trial, so he's on a long way back, so um, very uh, close horse to our family, and um, hopefully he can start to fire. And a couple of young horses, um, Mod of Miss, and uh, uh, he won Snitsational, will have a trial, um, and a horse called uh, SOR, um, he'll have a trial. So a couple of nice young three-year-olds that are sort of getting ready for the spring and uh, have them all loaded up, and if they're good enough, well, um, we might have a good spring. But until next week, see you later. Hi everyone, back up. <laughs> um, he certainly worked up beautifully, he seems to be pulled up good from his run. Um, Otago Miss, hang on, I'll, I'll, can I do that in two parts? Yep. It's as good a country race track as you'll see anywhere. Really well done to the race in Victoria and everybody involved down there to... How's Satorius going with this girl?